A huge advantage of photovoltaic power plants is that they don't have to be separated from the city, causing additional costs for transport and the distribution. They can be even integrated inside the city structure. They don't cause any emissions. And so you can make even building surfaces out of it. We will see some examples in the following slides. Here you see a photovoltaic facade in Berlin, 30 years old, with an adapted color of the solar cells to the surface. And in this particular example is another advantage in front. You don't see it, unfortunately, on this picture. There is a river which reflects additional light, specifically in winter, onto the solar facade, causing an additional energy yield, specifically in winter, when solar radiation is quite low and therefore balances out the annual energy production. You can make the photovoltaic surface almost invisible, like shown in this picture. You can also add functionality to the photovoltaic panels, for example here, used as a shadowing for office buildings. You can also use these modules, which are specifically designed to be a maximum exposed in summer. So you can use these photovoltaic panels to power air conditioned units. This is a nice example in Herne from the year 2002. During this time, this was the largest roof integrated photovoltaic system. It's also designed to carry out light control. So we have different density of the photovoltaic cell inside the glass. So without any cells, there is a large amount of light coming in with a medium coverage of solar cells. You have a medium transparency and therefore you have medium illumination or you have a dense coverage with photovoltaic cells, you make dark cells. And this was computed, with a simulated before, to, to cause a very nice homogeneous light inside the building. Here you see this. During this time, this was a world record. So this is received a world record certificate by the Guinness Book of Records. It's also a nice example by the company Azola in Erfurt. Unfortunately, this company it doesn't exist in its original form anymore, but you see it can make nice facades or even integrate it into uh, cars. There will be a new car coming out, the Sion, which will have a full coverage of solar cell in this car and should be able to travel about 30 kilometers per day just powered by solar. So if you need the car only every two or three days, you are able to, to travel 60 kilometers without any additional charging. Also, you can adapt uh, solar cells to flexible services. This is quite well known. Formerly, there was a problem with the flexible materials that they didn't last that long. Apparently, this problem has been solved. It's also a nice example seen on the Intersolar. It shows different types of solar photovoltaic roof integration. Yeah, also a nice example by Azola. And also seen on Intersolar 2022. Thin film solar cells with different colors, semi-transparent, allowing a nice facade in a building in Stockholm, Sweden. If you want to know more about the matching of the photovoltaic electricity production with the actual consumption, I put here some links. You find this also on our chair homepage for several countries, including Germany, but also for Europe. This is quite nice to carry out further studies. So I'm at the end of the lecture. If you like it, give a thumbs up or write some comments. I put some further links, which shows up the upcoming lecture and the lecture before that. Thank you very much.